And the solution really is that simple. Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, presented by Draco Breach. Yeah, you just aim at the canopy instead of at the frame. Because... Reasons. Anyway, we're continuing on. And finding the final monkey for the puzzle. Because as we can see, there is one pedestal still left. Uh, yep. Let's see. May as well save time and get this into position. Now, the Gale Boomerang puzzles are a little whatever. They work, but uh, they take time. Uncooperative camera! And this does use the uh, motion control of the Wii, uh, game, Wii U gamepad, so... You know, one thing to keep in mind. Uh, yep, more of you guys. I apparently forgot how durable you are. Uh... I... Oh, you're not dead. I think there's one more in here. Okay, maybe if I actually aim. No, there isn't one more. Okay. There is a creepy crawly somewhere. Oh, hello. I love that you can kind of stun the enemies with the Kale Boomerang, I really do. Like I said, it's incredibly useful. I probably should be using the Gale Boomerang to get the uh, little mini spiders off as well, but uh, eh, it can't be perfect, I suppose. Uh, I missed the treasure. Oh well, I can get it in a minute. And that would be the final monkey. But we do have one more treasure to grab. Right, you don't like coming down. And that, oh, I had to be up here to get the treasure anyway. And it is another stamp. So we got A and N first. And now, it is time to continue on to the boss room. And the boss really is kind of a creative culmination of everything that happened in this dungeon. So I think you're going to be rather pleased if you've never played this game before. And if you have, well, hopefully you don't get to facepalm too much. And if you thought that they were going to magically make something appear, why? They're monkeys. Like I said, culmination of everything that's gone on so far. This might make somebody facepalm because timing. Let's see. Dude. Yep. It's going to take more than one attempt. Only two. That's a record. Uh, I shouldn't need a fairy. But I think... Um, which one? Ah, that one. Of course. If you need a fairy, there's a fairy. 
I'm going to skip it and hope that I am not making a terrible mistake. The first boss is kind of hard to die on, but you can die on the first boss. And doesn't that purple water look familiar? I wonder what could be causing it. I kind of like the idea of... this boss. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I want to do. want to do is that. Like I said, culmination of what you've been taught in this dungeon. Now if I could... Good, that did not hit another Deku bomb. Regardless. Alright, that first boss was easy said no Zelda gamer ever. <laughs> this is one thing that I love. Even simple bosses can have multiple phases. And now Big Mama is mad. Uh... Did I get my shield up in time, really? Yep, there we go. The monkey boss that we saved is attempting to be useful. And yeah. If you predicted this... That should work. Or... I have never actually done that before. I usually take out the things in the center. I... That is, that's kind of embarrassing. I have never actually done that before. I, <laughs> okay. Like I said, I normally end up uh, taking out, oh, oh, okay. That camera did not like me. Uh, wait for the next attack. Well, now that I know that, that's all I'm going to need to do. And yeah, that boss is really that simple. I don't know that I've ever died on it, but I have, like the first time I played the game, I was like, what am I supposed to do? And then, I just thought about it for a minute. And that's really all it takes, is just thinking about the puzzle for a minute. And that's kind of what I like about uh, how the bosses are in this game. They're pretty much action puzzles. <laughs> well done. That's what I was looking for. That's a fused shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what the spirit said? about how you had to match the power of the King of Shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? <laughs> There's a total of three few shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly what few shadows are, 
Well, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. I guess you'd better do your best to find them, huh? <laughs> so, let's not waste any more time here when we could be looking for the other two. I'll get you out of here. You pick up the heart container that fell out of that thing. And with the defeat of the first boss of the Forest Temple, things have been purified and returned to their true state. So let's get out of here, like Midna said. Want to go outside? Are you all done? Here? Forgot a word? Yeah, go ahead and save. It doesn't take too long. Heroic Link. Do not think that Hyrule is now saved from the spread of twilight. Leave these woods and go to the east where you will find the land protected by the spirit Elden. There you will find those you seek. But know that these lands lie in twilight. They are now a dark realm covered by the clouds of dusk. If you set foot beyond the curtain of twilight, you will revert to your beast form. So be prepared. Hero chosen by the gods, leave these woods and go to the east, to the land of Elden. You kind of repeated yourself there, buddy. That's better. Searching should be much easier now. <laughs> but, of course you feel the need to go help the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you turn into a beast again, I'll take good care of you. The first thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. <laughs> See you later. So, now we know where to go. Uh, I am going backwards, aren't I? Wait. I do want to go this way. Okay. So, no I don't. No I don't. I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. You'll notice that there's purple still on the map. I believe the woods are still covered in that miasma, but there's no real reason to go back there, so... Yeah, no point bothering. And we don't need any oil because it's like three quarters full. And we can't do anything with those, so let's go to... A new area. Yeah, you probably should have attacked me rather than just make a space, but whatever. Hyrule Field. The vast and, some people do complain, empty area. But there are things to do out here right now, believe it or not. Um, I didn't know how far I was going to make it, so give me a moment to check my notes. Okay, so there are basically three collectibles you can find here. Uh, the first one is... Let's see. Slightly this way. 
trying to remember exactly where. There we go. And that is collectible number one. As for number two, we do have to go a little bit further. Uh, it should be on a tree. Rats. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so... Where are we looking? There's one. I actually went the wrong way for the one that I was looking for. This is actually the third collectible I was looking for. This is what I said meant when I said... Uh, there we go. Come here. This is what I meant when I said that the Gale Boomerang was very useful. Because we have now collected a female beetle. A female golden beetle. The male, and I just revealed the other collectible, oh well, is on the opposite side of where I was going, where I ended up going. Now most of the enemies out here you can ignore, except for the birds. They are a pain. Uh, like I said, the birds are a pain. Really, I got two of them at once. I cannot believe that worked. Really? Okay. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember exactly where this, uh... They're easier to see at night, so the transition to nighttime might help. Okay, where is it? another bird. Yeah, those guys are kind of annoying. And there's nighttime. I thought... I think I have to look at my notes again. That's not good. I do wish I had a faster form of travel. You wouldn't have to watch this, uh... Oh, not another bird. Why do I want to say it's this tree? Sorry, I know this is kind of boring. If I don't, if I don't find it 
on one of these two trees. I will double check my notes and find where it is. Uh, I know it's supposed to be near here. Okay. Going to check my map again. My notes again. So pardon me. Well, that was an interesting mistake. Uh, I was actually supposed to go back south from the heart piece because there it is. I think I can... Nope, I can't. And that one was very easy. So now we have the male beetle and it is on the collection screen. So we can see here the beetles and they actually do have a slightly different appearance which is nice and it is accurate because uh, the male beetles will typically have horns and the female beetles will not so now we can continue our quest because that is all the collectibles available in this area kind of May as well get that. I have plenty of rupees. Good. I think, yeah, 200 should be what I need for the next major thing I want. And this is the postman. He occasionally delivers letters to you. Go no further. There is a black wall ahead that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as the Postman. Now that I have introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. And yes, you just heard him do the chest opening jingle. You can do the you can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. So, yes, he delivered mail to you. If I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high speed. Please do not flee. Yeah. So... He didn't drop anything. That or I didn't hear it. Which could mean it's a heart. Oh well. So, we are heading into the next section. And it's sure to be filled with peril. However, after Midna's little explanation here, hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is. If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to find the... to save the light of Elden from the twilight anyway. So, shall we try to see the light spirit of Elden? Uh -huh. For the time being, this is going to be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.